what you need to know when buying a laptop. Buying a laptop can be quite a big deal. If you're spending your hard-earned money on a new computer, you need to make 100% sure you're getting one that fits your needs. There's no one laptop that's right for everyone, so we're here to help you decide which features you need to consider when making that all-important purchase. Step 1. Performance. This is possibly the most important step. What are you going to be using the laptop for? Are you just writing Word documents and rearranging spreadsheets? Or will you be using it for gaming and high-end and demanding graphics packages? Processing power is essentially the number of calculations the computer can do per second. The faster it is, the better. Buy the fastest processor you can reasonably afford. This is the best way of making sure it'll be some time before your laptop feels slow and out of date. Laptops with Centrino processor technology, like this one, are extremely popular because they're good at multitasking and give great performance considering a laptop's relatively limited space. Graphics cards, or video cards, take the strain off your processor by handling any complicated graphic work. They add to the price, but are well worth considering, particularly if you're using a lot of graphics-heavy packages. Using RAM, or random access memory, is a much faster way to access data than pulling it to and from the hard disk. So, the more RAM your computer has, the quicker you can get things done. Step 2. Size. Big screens are great if you're going to be doing a lot of graphic work or gaming, but the bigger the screen, the more space your laptop takes up. It also weighs more. If you're going to be carrying it to and fro, you might like to look into buying something smaller. Bear in mind that a bigger screen will also drain your battery faster. Step 3. Battery life. Are you away from a power socket much? Do you travel up and down the country? Are you the forgetful sort who leaves a laptop by the front door after a long day's work and forgets to recharge? If so, you're going to need as much battery life as possible. You might like to look into something like ours here, which uses Intel Centrino processor technology and intelligently saves as much battery as possible. Step 4. Connectivity. How much internet connectivity do you need? Most laptops these days come with Wi-Fi installed, but you'll need to double check before purchasing if you want to get online. Failing that, make sure you've got enough for what you might need in future. You might only need a wired connection at home, but never underestimate when you might like to use the laptop to check your email in a Wi-Fi enabled pub over a crafty pint. Step 5. Hard disk size. How much space do you need for your stuff? The good news is that these days, hard disks are relatively cheap if you want to upgrade. Most people won't really need more than 100 gigabytes of space, which is generally plenty. Step 6. Operating system. For Windows PCs, there are currently two options, XP or the most recent release, Vista. You'll find that most shops are pushing Vista, which is impressive, but some still prefer the older XP. When buying a laptop, there's a lot to consider and a lot of different permutations available. Weigh up all the different options and work out what you're really going to use it for. Then you'll get the one that's right for you. Good luck.